this is Liam from Halftone Digital, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick hack for versioning components in Figma or really any design tool of your choice. Uh, I want to first note that this Contra wireframe kit is available to anyone publicly within the community file. Uh, you can see all of these community files here. If you just search Contra wireframe kit, it will pop right up and you can duplicate it. Uh, I also learned this hack from this man right here, Anthony Despecio, uh, uh, over a Twitch Figma uh, live stream. So if you haven't had a chance to check those out, uh, definitely do so. So uh, here we have our button. Uh, and what I wanna do is version it out because it's old. So what I'll do is because this is my master component, you can see that and you know that down here because you have the four diamonds, which means it's a master component. Go over here and I'm just going to change it to this light red hue. And basically, uh, you know, you could save this color if you wanted to by going up here and saving it and maybe calling this like your old component color or whatever. Um, but, you know, that might not even be necessary, but just marking it as a red color is, is probably the most important thing that kind of indicates that this is old. Then you can also add to the component description and just say old component. And you know, well, I cannot spell today, old component. And then, uh, you know, maybe add in a, an emoji or anything like that, just to give it more of a description. So once that's done, um, I'm just going to actually create a page in here, call it old components. And then what I'll do is I'll just move this to the old components page. So if we go to our screens here, we can see that all of the, um, might be kind of hard to tell because it's so colorful in here, but uh, all of these buttons have changed to our like reddish pink color. And if we actually go back to our master component, we can see that it's now on this new page. Uh, you know, you could create an artboard as well that's called old components, uh, but both work. So, so now that we have that, what we wanna do is we just wanna duplicate this and then want to detach the instance and we'll see that these are the names. So what we can do is we'll just mark this as old and then we will make the new button. And then what I wanna do is just send it right back to my component screen. Looks like it's right here. And then I'll say that, you know, maybe I wanna add a horizontal padding of 36 and I want it to be like this brick red color. So then the next step is going back to screens and anywhere where we have the old component indicated by this red color, again, could be any color, but I'm choosing red. Uh, what we wanna then do is just go into our components, base components, button, large, fill normal, and I believe it is this one. There we go. So then essentially I would just go through and change that everywhere that has the old component. This is a really, really great way for if you're updating a design system to stay consistent and know what is old uh, while also being able to update new um, components. So I hope that this tutorial was really helpful for anyone who's a Figma user or just anyone that is a designer and is looking to build a design system that can be sustained. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you on the next tutorial. Thanks.